Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your man, Dame DNYDC. You know what it is. It's another Monday, brand new episode. And today's guest that's going to be sitting down with me today on the other mic. Man, I'm excited because, you know, we talk about talent. Talent comes in all shapes, sizes, and forms. You know, you got LeBron. You got, you know, Michael. You got, you know, pick your favorite football player, whoever. But today we're talking about art, man. And I'm really proud uh, to present, you know, someone who's actually surprisingly in my own backyard, you know, here in Virginia, in the DMV. DMV, I'm talking to you. If you can't hear me tapping on the glass, I'm talking to you. He's right here in our own backyard, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I've had the pleasure, you know, over the last week, week and a half, you know, building up and really diving into today's guest. Uh, look, I can't, I can't even draw matchsticks. I'm talent when it comes to art is not my thing. Lord, Lord, thank you for my child. Who's the? Ta- I don't know where she got the talented gene from because she didn't get it from me. But to watch this man's craftsmanship and to look at some of his TikToks and some of the work that he does, I'm excited to really find out, you know, where did, where did all of this come from? How did it cultivate what inspires him? And I hope you all that are watching today or listening today really uh, enjoy today's conversation. And I'm going to stop talking because y'all probably like, Dame, okay, we get it. <laughs> we heard you. I'm going to stop and I'm going to bring uh, today's guest to the mic, Mr. Leroy Brown. Leroy, my brother, you know, how you doing today, man? And, and take a few minutes, just kind of introduce yourself and tell us who is Leroy Brown. Well, first of all, good evening. Good evening, Damon. And thank you for having me on the show on Two Mics Up. First time here. Heard a lot about you guys and I'm excited. Uh, my name is Leroy Brown. People call me Leroy Brown. I go by the name of Leroy Brown. I'm from Natchez, Mississippi, uh, the oldest of two kids. Uh, my mom was born in Tallulah, Louisiana. My dad was born in Natchez, Mississippi as well. Uh, I'm the I'm a father of three. I've been okay. married 19, uh, 19 years. Come November, All right. I retired, retired Marine Corps, did 20 years in the Marine Corps, uh, actually pursuing my uh, B.A. in entrepreneurship at this point. All right. Hey, look, bro. First of all, uh, let me say thank you, you know, for your service yeah. uh, and and kudos to you, man. You know, being married in marriage, uh, you know, for for 19 years uh, and, and having a, a blessed family, man. Your kudos to you. You know, I, I understand uh, that work that is required. You know, my wife and I have been together 22 years married we've been together for almost 28 years uh you know we go way back so uh kudos to you for that work and i just have to ask leroy you know what was it like you know everybody has a thing you know like when i started this podcast it kind of originated from a thing and i want to know what is it that for you was that thing that you know piqued your interest to really wanted to become you know you know an artist so um as we were talking before, uh, this thing started with uh, with Stickman. Um, <laughs> okay. Ever since our elementary, uh, I longed to be an artist, considered myself an artist, but I was never painting. I uh, didn't get started painting until around 2006. Wow. But all through my childhood, I always had a, a, a nick for uh, creating art with pencil and, and, and comics and stuff like that. Uh, it wasn't until 2008 when I came along and uh, I met a guy named Hank Herring, which is my mentor. Uh, this was eight years in the Marine Corps at that point uh, in South Carolina. Um, but to see him as a, uh, another African-American, uh, also an enlisted Marine, retired Marine, uh, it's, it's kind of unheard of in uh, coming from Mississippi to see someone doing exactly what they wanted to do. Uh, mm-hmm. Ever since then, the light bulb came on for me. He, you know, he, uh, I became his apprentice, if you will. And mm-hmm. they took me to uh, my first art show. His, his, his art show, but he took me along on his wing. And in, in okay, man, look, uh, I, I'm sitting here and I'm listening to you, bro, and I'm looking at the pieces that you have behind you, yeah. and it just blows my mind when I see, you know, the incredible work, and it just really makes me because, first of all, like I said, 
I, I, I'm stick man figure. My stick man figures is real. They're real limited, like <laughs> real limited. To get to that point, well, even before we ask that question, what is it that inspires Leroy Brown then to really do, you know, what it is that you do? Because I see the passion and, and just the love and the way it just bounces off your canvas, bro. It, it, it man, look, it's dope. I, I just can't say it, your work is dope. But what's the inspiration behind your pieces? So, uh. I, I'm a, but raised in the South, I'm, I'm, I'm God fearing. I was, you know, I had God instilled in me at an early age. Um, and I, I just believe in, uh, in spiritual spirituality. I get therapy from uh, creating artwork. Uh, I tap into another realm uh, when I'm creating and I just, I didn't start here. Uh, I started with stick man and I just right. gradually improve. I'm, I'm uh, self, uh, self, -edu self taught, self educated. Wow. Uh, yeah, se seventh grade and tenth grade uh, art is all I have from high school. Uh, everything else is wow. gradually uh, improving. But I, I, when I tell you, I tap into another realm. Um, mm -hmm. I can listen to a podcast. I can listen to documentaries, and I listen and I focus a little bit more when I'm painting and listening to that stuff. Also, music wow. is another thing that kind of like seeps into me and it gets me into the, the group of things so wow man yo that that that's that's crazy like I, that's not i mean not crazy but it's bananas just like you know just the thought of a sound or just a vision or somebody saying something to you can actually tap in or uh create that uh i guess create a fire is the word uh just to go ahead and just begin a piece yeah and i mean uh absolutely when when i'm uh it's the, if there's something that uh sparks my interest i want to learn mm -hmm. more about I would mm. sit back and I, if I'm painting, uh, say I'm painting Elton John. I, I never listened to Elton John a day in my life. Uh, when I started painting Elton John, I started listening to his whole album. Uh, wow. uh, and it's not just him, it's other different things. Uh, when I started painting, it was uh, that people had no faces. It was more of the, the African-American figurines and stuff like that, right. what grandmama used to have on the shelf. Right. Uh, that where I, that's where I uh, originally began with the, the African-American art, uh, a.k.a. black art. Right. And yeah. So, so, you know, man, this is like so many questions running through my head. You know, can you kind of take us through that? Because that that I guess is like a graduation then or uh, an elevation through each stage for you. And can you kind of talk about it? Like you say, you know, that that like, you know, starting out maybe with that black art, because that's what maybe what was more at home to yeah. you. And then, you know, branching out, I guess, from being, uh, you know, a Marine and maybe traveling and seeing the world, did that kind of open up your mind and your eye, your inner eye to kind of create more art? So, so first of all, uh, doing 20 years in the Marine Corps, boot camp was for me was, you know, was rough. Uh, I went out to California uh, and I, I would say the roughest period of my life was uh, going through 70 days of recruit training as a Marine. So mm -hmm. I look at it like this. Uh, if, if, uh, if I've already accomplished the hardest thing in my life, what else is there to do? I can, right. You know, you know, I, I mean, I can do anything I want to do if I put my mind to it. And uh, I found out that we handicap ourselves uh, mm -hmm. from uh, certain things that we want to do in life. Uh, mm -hmm. The light bulb clicked for me and I, I just kept painting every everywhere, every duty station. Um, I was painting in closets. I was painting on in kitchens, wow. you know, and I'm here in an art studio uh, at this at this point. Uh, my own art studio is it's a blessing. I'm living my dream, if you will. So Man, um, awesome. Yeah. But I mean, re repetition, uh, repetition, actually, when it when you know, I didn't like painting realistic stuff. I'm not a realist. I'm not an impress. Uh, well, I'm, I'm an expressionist. Yeah. So I'm not really ain't, uh, I'm not really particular about every freckle. I got my mm -hmm. own style. Mm -hmm. And it started when I started painting people's families and stuff. And I switched to athletes uh, oh, and wow. when I started painting athletes. People just people started gravitating to what I was painting. And then I started painting entertainers and stuff and stuff like that. But uh I'm mean, at this point. I'm just I'm just going and I'm trying to build that uh that catalog, if you will, the catalog. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I don't want uh, Hank Herring told me, he said, you don't want to be caught with uh, if someone's asking about your art. You don't want to be caught with your hands behind your back saying I only got wow. this. You want to create content. And that, and I just take the, I took that and I, 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 I ran with it. So I, I never yeah. stopped. Creating. That's that's those are gems right there, man. You know, look, I, I always say, like, if, if anybody listening, you know, please. You know, pay attention because you just heard a, a gem there, man. Don't limit yourself. You know, work through and create, you know, be be repetitious yes. and create that content in what you do, man, and grow your catalog. Uh, I really, 
love, man, the energy and the passion that you have. And I'm also curious then, like you said, because you're having your own studio now and being in your own creative space, you know, and, and having young children. Do any of your kids, you know, follow around in dad's footsteps and, and, and yeah. mimic or imitate or have that that creative eye too? Absolutely. I have a, a, a soon to be seven year old. Wow. Uh, in, in about maybe 20, 30 days, 20 days. Uh, uh, and, and she and she she amazes. She at, at her point, uh, she is further along when I uh, than I was when I was uh, six, seven years old. I was, just, you know, I didn't have paint. I didn't have paint in Mississippi. We weren't. We, mama wasn't going to buy any paint. Um, but uh, she has, the, uh, I bought paint, I bought watercolor, and I've watched her. I'm not trying to pressure her to do it. And I, I just watch her grow, and uh, she wants to be an artist. We, we, we're going to make this thing happen. I've, I've already started, <laughs> I started her hashtag, uh, hashtag Kennedy Brown Art. So when she looks back, she looks at the hashtag, she searched the hashtag. She found all her work. She's done it uh, first grade. Um, but, yes, so, you know. She's the artist of the family. I have three kids. That's 19, 17, and six. Big, big gap. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's 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 awesome, man. And and I, I also want to ask then from you know, I think we all sit back sometimes, and I, I know I do, uh, you know, doing a show or my you know, my regular nine to five. Sometimes, you know, you have perspective, you know, on on things where you know where you want to go or what you'd like to see next or what you like to do next. Um, and same for you. Um, but I, I want to put a little twist on it and ask, you know, from your perspective as an artist, what would you say your mission is through your artwork that you provide to us in the community? Great question, uh, Damon. Um, I tell you what, uh, I, I'm inspired to inspire. I mm. want to paint that narrative where people can do exactly what they want to do in life. Um, Exactly, you know, put your mind to it. So the youth instilling in the um, <clears throat> boys and girls, men and women, to do exactly what you want to do, one brick at a time. Um, I like for people to look at my art and feel a certain type of way. I think I've done my job, and, and the art has done its job. Once uh, they they feel a certain type of way, they are able to speak, uh, or they just may look and stare. And then they, you know, some people are not verbal, but art will make them become verbal with a smile on their on their face. So. Uh, feeling some certain type of way, uh, it's therapeutic to me. I, if I get fulfillment from it, I, there, there's been times when, because um, I do a lot of live live feed uh, mm -hmm. when I'm painting, and there's people that just sit back and say, "Hey, man, this is so this is so confident." I say, "You really? think it's something for you? It's it's therapeutic to me as, as well." So, uh, wow. mission is definitely to inspire people to do exactly what they want to do in life, regardless if it's art or, or, or whatever they want to do. Well, I, I can tell you right now. I mean. I'm inspired, you know, and the, the, this conversation and having the, the visual work and, and feeling your passion is really why I do this. Um, this is my perspective and my feeling and my joy uh, to be able to have a platform to share someone's love. Because I hear your love, brother. I hear your inspiration. I see it. Uh, and I'm just hoping that others can hear and feel this as well. And I, I, I'm going to even continue with that, you know, you know, now, like I said, you know, again, being in your own space and, and doing lives, because that, that was something that I never even thought visually, uh, watching someone perform, uh, live. What has that experience been like for you outside of therapeutic? Like, has that even helped take your artwork uh, to a whole nother level? Yes. Yes. So you feel the, um. You feel, and, and a lot of times I'm painting to music. Uh, I'm painting okay. to music. Uh, there, there are websites such as, you know, on Facebook and Instagram, you can't really play music, but there's other websites uh, that you can get on there uh, or uh, um, and, and play music in the background. But mm -hmm. when you feel that there's, uh, regardless if it's five people or a hundred people watching, uh, the people are feeding those comments to you. And I always tell them, hey, I'm sorry I have my back turned to you, but I'm about to go to work. So, <laughs> so, I, so I really... Uh, I really tap into another zone and every every now and then I turn around and engage to those people that are watching. But uh, when I get in here, I, sometimes, you know, you can get in here and you can get uh, I can sit down here for three hours and, and, and eight hours wow. of by real fast. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and I, I love it. I, I, this is something I don't get tired of. So uh, wow. like two o'clock in the morning sometimes. And, and I was just going to say, uh, I could imagine then now, like through this pandemic, Mm -hmm. You know, not I don't want to say like you got all this free time, but 
we all are condensed. We're, we're home a lot of times. We're with our family a lot of times. And I can only imagine the some of the works that you've created through this period, uh, really having the time, you know, if something is on your mind or, you know, something crazy happened during the day or something unfortunate. Um, are there one or two pieces that, that come to mind for you that really stand out? Like, I don't want to call them pandemic pieces, but, you know, like that you hold dear, like it was a, a real poignant moment for you during this time? Well, uh, there's not one piece, uh, actually, because okay. I, I have my own agenda. And the beauty of doing this is having my, my own agenda, uh, okay. painting whatever I wanted to paint over a period of time. I took it, you, true, I took advantage of the pandemic and uh, as far as having time in the studio. But I'm, I'm sort of a homebody anyway, you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, my, my wife uh, kind of beat me up, you know, about getting out and engaging with people. But uh, mm -hmm. I am a social person. So once I get started, they try to tell me to <laughs> shut up. <laughs> um, but um, I, there's no true. There's no one piece that I would call a pandemic piece. It was because okay. uh, for the period of time I, I had I've engaged in uh, uh, various uh, different virtual art shows or expos or whenever I could possibly can. I was I was shipping art to California. I was shipping art to All Hawaii right. uh, okay. doing commission artwork. So All I kept right. busy. I kept busy with a pandemic. Man, that's awesome. Look, yeah. y'all, if you like I said, if you listening or if you just tuned in, you're gonna have to go back to the beginning. Because yeah, y'all is missing a lot. Uh, and we we're gonna, you know, step away, take a pause for the call, but I, I want to come back and we want to dive in and, and really get into you know some of the artwork behind you. Maybe you have some artwork that you know uh sitting nearby that maybe you can you know, share and show, uh, you know, to our guests here, you know, those of you on the audio side, you're going to have probably had to get off and go to the YouTube side for the second half to get the visual. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and jump into the, to these commercials. Excuse me. My tongue is tied. I'm excited. Uh, and we'll, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, after the break. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Your man, Dame D, NYDC. Two mics up. Today on the other mic, sitting with me today is my brother, Leroy Brown. Artist, Leroy Brown artwork, DMV. Tapping the screen just for you. Right here in the DMV, ladies and gentlemen. Leroy, you know, we talked in the first half, man. Uh, some really, really great points, you know, about you, your development as an artist. And I, I want to just kind of go a little bit further because even in development, though, there's evolution and you still are like you were saying, you know, in the first part, your development, your creative part, you're still on an agenda. And I'm, I'm going to imagine that agenda still evolves. Right. Absolutely. Where where do you or I shouldn't say where let me, let me say it from how I would because I'm not an artist. So there's times where I do things that. I'm like, yo, man, it's straight garbage, right? So as an artist and through your evolution now, like, have you ever had something that you just said, man, yo, this is straight garbage right here. I got to start all over again. And what is that like? You know, what does that feel like one for artists? Like you got a piece that is just not right and you got to start over. Like, what is that 
feel like it for you and how do you go through that process? Uh, another another good question. You got them. Um, so I, I would say less than um, the majority of my artwork, you know, in the process of sketching, um, because I do all of the the fading and everything with the paint. I just I sketch the outline. And sometimes when I sketch the outline, um, it's unproportionate. There are some things that I'm like, I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to have to right. fix it on the way, you know, throughout right. the painting. But I would say less than 1% is something that I would call garbage because I've always told my daughter and I always told my, you know, that a, a completed piece of work is a, 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 a finished piece of work, artwork. Once you're done mm -hmm. with it, don't start, mm -hmm. don't stop bet uh, midways between, and, you know, finish it because guess mm -hmm. what? Your artwork is your artwork. So, so I'm at the point now where uh, anything that I paint, uh, once I'm done with it, if I'm content, I sign it, I'm done. I, I consider it great, uh, great. Mm -hmm. But that's a great question. Uh, through the process, sometimes I get, ah, oh, man, I need to go back. But that paint fixes a lot of stuff. Okay. The paint, you know, um, mm -hmm. and, I, and I can even look back at some older paintings of mine uh, that I have redone. Uh, a lot of church scenes that I've redone because uh, over the time I, I was painting on, uh, especially when I first started, I was painting with uh, value pack value pack canvases versus the more authentic more uh uh authentic brand canvases that i'm painting with now but so i'm like hey i've seen some of my older work that i've done 2011 2009 that i've completed it completely tur turned it around uh with better quality stuff so uh great qu great question so i i also have to because I, I i i'm admiring it um the dedication and things but Let's just say, you know, we have a, a young, young man or young woman or any, anyone that's that's listening today and feels that they, you know, and, I, and I, I, I will never diminish anyone. I laugh at myself, but I will never diminish anyone who feels that they have some type of art talent um, and they want to get started, but they don't know how to get started. And looking back on your trajectory, like if there was one or two things that you can share with someone who may be listening on you know, how to get started or maybe what to look for or, uh, you know, just any words of wisdom, you know, could you share some with anybody listening? Yeah. So, so number one would be to find a mentor. Mm. Uh, that mentor don't have to be alive. That mentor don't have to be within reach. Uh, find someone that you actually want to emulate um, because I, I emulate uh, Ernie Barnes. Ernie Barnes, uh, he, he did the good times art. Yeah, uh, okay. I love this style and the, the movement in his artwork. Pa Pablo Picasso, never, never seen him a day in my life. Uh, but, but, but I look at to him as a mentor, but there, I have several mentors. So the first thing to do, uh, is to find a mentor, uh, that's in the realm of what you want to do and what you want to pursue. They don't have to know you. You don't have to know them, but you need to find somebody that you want to, you know, uh, kind of like mirror. Uh, mm -hmm. and I'll say number two is to, uh, to, to watch, to watch podcasts, to, to, to listen to people. Uh, there, there's people that have already, this is not, this is not the first, I'm not the first artist. I'm not the greatest artist, uh, but I'm the greatest Leroy Brown. Okay. So, so, so uh, <laughs> I think, uh, we should all self-educate, you know, we don't have to go to college. You, you can go to, to YouTube and, and, you know, you go to different podcasts and you got to self-educate. So, um, Yeah. I agree. I, I, I love that. I love both points. And I really do love uh, the second part. You know, uh, we are big here. You know, actually, uh, educate, empower, impact is actually one of our, you know, our taglines. Mm -hmm. And I tell everybody, education does not come when you hear educate. Like, and like you so eloquently said, it's not all about book smart. You know, right. everybody doesn't need that, that book. Smart. Sometimes you need street smart. Uh, sometimes you just need enough to comprehend. Like you said, you know, if you have a skill set that God gave you with your with your hands and in your mind and you have that creativity, go to you to educate yourself um, to better yourself. And I love that coming from you because uh, it's really needed. So many, so many in our community, really um, in the black and brown community, I hope they hear this yeah. uh, and really take heed to what you're saying. Um, Leroy, it, I also want to ask, because it, this is something that I, I've always wondered in, I know what it was like for me uh, first time seeing myself on my own show, hearing my own voice. So what is it like, brother, when your work is actually featured, you know, in an art show or, or somewhere? What's that feel like for you, bro? Um, unbelievable feeling. Um, 
Uh, I'll take it back to 2018. 2018, I did a show, my first solo art show uh, in, in February, uh, February 2018 in Woodbridge. I think it was at Bar Lou. I had an event planner. Um, mm -hmm. I had everything in place. Uh, and then it's just a surreal feeling of uh, having about 15 pieces dispersed around wow. the area of a restaurant and people wow. looking back like, who is this guy? You, you, not even with not, Without saying a word, I'm just walking around in my wow. suit. And I'm just sweating bullets, you know, but, <laughs> but, but, um, it's a, sir, it, you know, I, I was like, is this a dream? I'm actually living my dream right now, regardless if it's my, uh, first art show. It's something I, I always wanted to do. And I, and I have time to show the world through one show in one part of the area, one, one area of this globe. So, yeah. um, I, I'm excited and I'm still shocked. And I think it's, uh, that's, that's what motivates me. It's kind of ins inspires me as well that I'm actually doing and living the dream that I actually dreamed of a long time. Bro, man, that's all. I I mean, I'm familiar. So, you know, Bar Louis is like around the corner from my house. So uh, I know, you know, just being in the space uh, and I'm picturing it while you're talking in my head. I feel like I was there, but I wasn't. But I know that I, I feel, I mean, my hands are standing up for you. Yeah. Um, that, that had to be a, a real dope feeling. So if you don't mind, do you have any pieces like a couple of people maybe you can kind of show or, or hold yeah, up, man? I uh -huh. I have a so I have a um <clears throat> I have a calendar okay twenty two a two thousand twenty two calendar so uh in this calendar um I I've already sold a hundred of them uh right. this this calendar has twelve pieces of my artwork that I I created over a period of time uh I hand signed all of them uh, but so oh, wow. right now we're in March but Jan January so this is called clap praise and rejoice I'm a, I'm gonna flip through it real real fast okay. Uh, I don't want to flip through all of them, but I'm gonna flip through. Uh, this is basically this is done on a 24 by 30. This is a was an acrylic painting. I mm -hmm. still have I still have the original, <laughs> and um, I include a, a lot of stained glass windows and okay. wooden floors in uh, church scenes in my artwork. Man, that's uh, dope. Yeah, sa same difference with this one. This is called having church people feel with the Holy Ghost, uh, Man, dancing and praising the Lord. You know, that's awesome. Same thing with this. And this oh is wow, called, that's that's beautiful. It's called stained hearts, wow. and there's basically people at the altar, you know, getting prayed mm -hmm. over or whatever, getting prophesied to or what what have you. But the stained glass, someone, and the thing about it is, that someone from a, a live show named it. Uh, they say, "Hey, oh, maybe, wow, maybe you should name it stained hearts because there's there's hearts at the altar and wow. there's stained glass windows in the back. So it's really deep when you look at it. Uh, yeah. So this is the fisherman. Yeah. And but but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh. No, nah, man. I all that but this calendar is on my website it's uh on a Look, feature, yeah featured items i'm gonna tell you so we, we're gonna make sure i'm gonna put all i'm gonna get that information i'm gonna go ahead and make sure i put it down in the comments you know ladies and gentlemen make sure you go out and support because that that work man is just amazing bro um Thank you. i i love it. it it really speaks uh to you uh and you can really feel you know the love and the detail and just the attention man it feels so real uh yeah. and, and i love it man i appreciate it's it, it, it it's yeah job, you know just by by hearing a lot a lot of people do not elaborate say so what do you feel about this i'm like well, what, what do you feel i have to take the question and i turn it back to them and say what well, now what do you feel how does mm -hmm. how does this art speak, speak to you because that's my greatest fulfillment uh mm -hmm. you know i don't want to talk all the time i want to let i want to let the artwork do the talking but you just you just did the talking there, Damon. man look, I, I'm not, look i feel i felt it bro i as you you go i'm feeling it come through bro so i i yo your work man definitely dope uh and like i said we're gonna make sure we put that in the comments you know your website I'm, i got all that i'm gonna put that in the comments and like i said everybody let's say it again go out and support take a look at the website go out and support so, Leroy, uh, I want to ask then, outside of me just saying it, what other ways, like, are you out in the community and what other ways can the community, especially here, DMV, wink, wink, can you, you know, we come out and support your amazing artwork? Are you going to be anywhere in, in the near future? Absolutely. Anything going on? Absolutely. Uh, we're in Mar uh, March. So, so uh, right now, you can go to uh, 514 uh, wine and paint is in Dumfries. It's a new uh, Ashley Fraser is a new owner, owner of the business. Awesome! I, I have eleven pieces in that uh, that 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 paint and sip. Uh, it's a paint and sip bar, but uh, amazing, amazing place. Uh, so my work will be hanging in there uh, for sale. You can go in there uh, and 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 just you know admire the beauty, if you will. 
Uh, also in May, I have a show that's 30 days long in Fredericksburg uh, at Red Red Dragon Brewery. It'll be my third time being in this uh, in the location. So okay. I'm excited about that. Uh, work, work for free, work, get to hang there for 30 days. Uh, and I, I think I, fit, I can fit about 16, 70 big pieces in there. So I'm, I'm, I'm working on that as well. Uh, come August, I, I will be part of the Virginia Black Business Expo in the Fredericksburg uh, Conference Center. So yes, uh, th third annual, it'll be my second time there. I had a blast last year. Um, and, and you know, at any point when these vendors, these vendor events pop up, I'm there. There's people that inbox me all the time. So and, and and that's what I want. That's I want to stay busy. I want to stay relevant. I want to, you know, I want to slay the whole DMV, the DMV, right. uh, you know, and I just brand it, branding myself. You know, I'm, I'm here with the T-shirt, you know. That's right. That's, that's man. Look, well said. Yeah, I mean, look, ladies and gentlemen, especially DMV, kings and queens. And you got to come out, support this king right here, man. I mean. I can't even, like I said, just dope, man. I mean, he fires. And I'm definitely going to check out 514 Paints. I, you know, it's not too far from me also. Yes, so I'm going to go in there. I'm going to go see some more of your work in person. Yeah. But best you. believe that, man. You know, you're joining Fred, you know, Fredericksburg, uh, VABBD, yeah. uh, Black Expo. I see you there this year. Somehow, I'll be down there some way, somehow. Yeah, I'll come, come hang out with you, man. We'll chop it up then. Um. This was a, an amazing episode, an amazing conversation. Uh, before we go, Leroy, is there anything that you know you'd like to share or say? And please, be please do make sure you provide us with your your website information, your Facebook, your social media, so everybody can go ahead, go out, support, and follow people. You know how we do. Get on that train. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you, Damon, for having me up. You guys go out there and follow two mics up, two mics up on on Facebook and you know Twitter, uh, Instagram. I've I've already did right before the show, uh, <laughs> Damon. So I appreciate you for having me. Uh, you can find me at uh, Leroy Brown Art. So uh, Leroy underscore Brown underscore Art. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, trying to stay 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 relevant here. Uh, my website is www.leroybrownart.com. All right, and there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we I'm gonna leave that there for a minute as we go ahead and close out another wonderful conversation, another amazing episode with my brother, you know, Leroy Brown. Leroy, I really appreciate you, man, for taking time out of your schedule. Sit down here with me, two mics up. It's been my honor and my pleasure to, to meet you. I look forward to continue support. Please know this is your home. Anytime you got anything going on, brother, and is there anything that we can do to help support you? Appreciate it. We're here for you, man. We're here for the community. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. You know how we do. You know, you can follow Two Mics Up online at www.twomicsup.com. You can follow us across our social media, IG, Facebook, and Twitter, and YouTube at Two Mics Up. And if you're watching this, make sure you go ahead and you go down there and hit that subscribe button. And before you walk out the door, you hit that bell so you can be notified by all the newest content coming to you from us here at Two Mics Up. And like we do at this time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, stay blessed. Mike's out.